yesterday we looked into what Baba said about purity as a sparkle and each of us having number wise sparkle of purity. And then Baba said, purity is a greatness and it's the basis of world transformation. Then Baba said that in Lokik, in this world, people find purity to be very difficult. But for us, Baba has made, us, made it very easy. And then Baba said, there are four awareness. If you keep those awarenesses, it will be easy for you to become a pure soul. And those awarenesses were the awareness of being soul conscious, the awareness of being an elevated soul, the awareness of being a deity soul, and the awareness of the Brahmin life. Baba also said that there are marks for purity of the mind, purity of the actions and purity of words or speech. Baba said to achieve purity of mind, these awarenesses that he spoke about should be always there in front of the soul. Baba said to have purity of actions, you must be constantly humble and content. And for purity of speech, it's important to be honest and sweet in your words. So we will carry on from yesterday's morley. Somebody could present the morley. Thank you. Yeah, so we will start from, and today it's going to be a very short Murli because it's a little bit that is left. So when we do the churning, we'll align the churnings from yesterday and today. So Bab Dada is meeting the London group. <coughs> do all of you constantly experience yourselves to be father's companions? Can you see your combined form? You are not alone. Wherever there are, there are children, the father will be with every child. This is such a comforting thought that Baba is saying that you're never alone. Never. Wherever we go, the father will be with us with every child. All I need to do is be in the awareness of my combined form with Baba. Baba says, you are constantly under the canopy of protection of remembrance of the Father. Baba always refers to his remembrance as a canopy a canopy of protection. He says, whatever is happening in the world, if you're in the awareness of the combined form, it's like nothing that's happening in the world is going to affect you. It's like a canopy of protection of remembrance of the Father. So it's the remembrance that matters. The more the remembrance, the more the protection. And then Baba says, no type of obstacle of Maya can come under this canopy of protection. Hmm? It is like the analogy that is there for Sita in the Ramayana when she is under the captivity of Ravan. 
you know she's like in a canopy surrounded by all those demons and you know asuras she's still protected by the remembrance and you know when when we used to watch the ramayan when we were small i still remember whenever ravan used to come near her or even try to touch her she always used to pick up that um i don't know what that was i think it was just a small branch of tree she used to pick that up and she used to just remember ram and ravan had no power when she had that tree branch and she was remembering ram and that is the that is the canopy of protection which we today have so it is the analogy of that canopy of protection that whenever and not necessarily whenever maya is coming i think it has to be constant as much as we can and we have to continue to increase that remembrance of being with baba at all times and maya will not be able to even touch so baba goes on to say no type of obstacle of maya can come under this canopy of protection so wherever you stay whatever task you carry out always experience yourself to be in a place of safety do you experience this baba is asking us to check do we experience that when we are in remembrance it's like we are in a safe space in the world also today there's a lot of talk about safe spaces and what is our space stay a safe space it's our secret the secret of the brahmins that we have a constant safe space and that is the remembrance of baba Baba was asking do we remember or do we experience this have we experienced this with baba and how much baba says bab dada has special love and gives special cooperation to the foreigners souls from abroad will play very good parts on the field of service later on and we are already seeing this the future of service is very good what new plans of service do you have to create as well as having general programs you must also serve special souls this will of course take a greater effort but success is your birthright so baba is saying you just do the effort and success will happen on its own so don't worry about success just do the effort therefore don't think about you have done a great deal but can't see any results the fruit of that is being prepared no action can be fruitless because you're doing everything in the remembrance of the father underline if an action is done in the remembrance of the father no action will be fruitless every action done in the remembrance of father has to bear a fruit in hindi baba says each and every of your action your words and your thoughts will be samart productive fruitful the fruit of whatever you do in a state of remembrance is always elevated whatever we do in the state of remembrance the fruit will always be elevated it will not be a normal standard fruit it will be an elevated fruit therefore you must never become disheartened 
the drama has to constantly be in front. The knowledge has to constantly be in front that if I'm doing something in remembrance of Baba, today or tomorrow it will bear, bear fruit. Success is guaranteed. So disheartening can never happen. Just as the father has faith, that your actions will definitely bear fruit. So you too should also have the same faith in your intellects. Underline and point to check. Do I have a faith within my intellect, internally, in my subconscious, that whatever I'm doing in remembrance, it will bear a positive fruit. It cannot happen that it will not bear the fruit. Some fruit emerges quickly, whereas other fruit takes a little time. However, you mustn't worry about this. Many times Baba says, you just worry about the effort making and let the outcome come automatically. Don't worry about the outcome. Here also Baba is saying, don't worry about the fruit. Just worry about acting in the remembrance of the Father. The time is soon to come when people will themselves come to you to inquire where you received this message and information from. This was in 1970, and today we see that happening, actually. Just wait a little for the bang of destruction and then see how long a queue will form. You will say, you will then say that you have no time. If you look at our sisters and our Sevadaris today, they don't have time. There's a lot of service that's there. A lot of inquiries that, that are coming. People want to understand the knowledge. Earlier, this was not the case. They didn't want to know the knowledge. We had to go and keep reminding them, keep pushing them to understand the knowledge, take Baba's message. But today, it has become automatic. And it's running on an auto mode. Baba says, at this moment, those people say that they don't have time. Later, you will say, too late. It's going to be such a sad thing for all those souls who did not have time to make any efforts, who did not have time to spend, to understand the knowledge, even though they received the message. They're too late. And as we are moving along in this drama, day by day, step by step, the too late sign is we can already see that in the near future when we won't be able to make any effort. The new souls will not get an opportunity to make an effort. The only opportunity they'll have is to know Baba, to accept Baba. And only that acceptance will take them into the Silver Age. But they'll miss out on so much. Okay? And that is why Baba keeps saying each and every minute, each and every second, each and every thought of the Confluence Age is so precious. Baba goes on to say, <clears throat> whatever you find difficult to do, hand that over to the Father and just remain an easy yogi. It's not my problem. It's Baba's problem. My job is just to be in remembrance.
To remain an easy yogi means constantly to do service. The subtle power of yoga will automatically attract souls to you. And so this is easy service. Again, by being a yogi, we can do service in an auto mode. We don't need to think of service. We don't need to do any service. Baba says that it's a subtle form of doing a subtle power of your yoga will automatically do the service. It will attract the souls to you. They will come and ask you, what do you have? Why you, you are like this? What have you gained from this knowledge? Can you also tell us and can you also guide us? And we see that happening. All of you are doing this, are you not? So Baba says that if you're an easy yogi, if you're a yogi, you are also automatically on service. Baba said, all of you are doing this, are you not? The London Brahmins have expanded the service very well. Have you prepared equals just as good as yourselves? Is the rosary now ready? Have you prepared 108 jewels? The rosary of 108 jewels. London should prepare a group of all varieties. There should be scientists, religious souls, and political leaders. There should also be special souls from the different associations. Until all types of variety souls sow the seeds of the establishment of the new world, how can destruction take place? It's like each and every category of souls, professionally and otherwise, accepting Baba and participating and giving their contribution in the establishment of the new world. And this is such a beautiful system. People of all professions will be useful in the golden age. They will be servers to serve you. But there, there's no consciousness of being a server. You know, someone being a server, someone being a master, if you may call that, or someone being, you know, above anyone. We are all equals there and we all have a job to do. It's like a family. Each and everyone has a part to play in a family, right? There's a role to play in that family, but still you're connected as a family. And that will be the feeling there. For example, in a family, father has a role, the mother has a role. The child doesn't feel why my father has that role and I don't have. It's, it's an automatic acceptance of the father in that role and the mother in that role and the brother in that role. And it will be similar to that when we are in the golden age. That love, that affection, that acceptance of each other. So the service, um, Baba says, those who, yeah, Baba, Baba was saying, they will be servers to serve you. Now serve them for a short time in this one birth and prepare them. They will then become your servers who will serve you for many births. Scientists, do have paths there. Those who have specialities to provide the facilities for your comfort, they will come to you here. So this service now has to take place at a fast pace in foreign lands. Prepare the kingdom. Prepare the subjects. 
prepare the royal family and also prepare the servers. No profession should be left out that they complain that they did not receive the message. Next, the new and elevated method for godly service. To do godly service through your thoughts is a new and elevated form of service. Baba calls it Mansa Seva. Every morning, as soon as a jeweler opens his shop, he checks that his jewels are clean and sparkling and placed in their correct sections. You set everything up, see if everything is in order, is clean, sparkling, especially when you're dealing with jewels. In the same way, every day at Amrit Vela, with your thoughts, cast your vision on the souls who are to come into contact with you. Hmm? All the souls who are going to connect with me today, <clears throat> my thoughts go to you. All the good thoughts, good feelings, good intent. The more you remember them through your thoughts, the more your thoughts will reach them and they will say that they also remembered you many times. Many times it happens when you are remembering someone, they also are remembering you at the same time and sometimes you are thinking of calling someone and they call you from their end and you tell them, oh, I was just thinking about you. How come you called? And the more you become a yogi, stay in remembrance, the more this happens because each of your thoughts become very powerful. You send, it's like a, it's like a WhatsApp call. You send it from here, within a second it reaches there. That's the power of thought, especially when we are in constant remembrance and we continue in this practice of constant remembrance. So Baba says, continue to move forward by adopting these types of new forms of service. There's so much of experimentation that can be done in this area. Different experiments, with thoughts, different experiments with this form of service can be done. They are being done and they can be done. This month, I have a special program for the souls you have connections with. Have a warm and friendly gathering. Baba calls it Sneh Milen in Hindi. Hold a program of sharing experiences and some entertainment. Find a reason to call them and increase your connection with them. See why Baba is saying this? Because when we call them, when we increase our connection with them, when they are connected with us in some way, they also get nurtured just by being with us. Because in some way, they will get to see Baba because we are connected with Baba. Baba started with that today, that we are combined. And whenever I'm in remembrance, I'm combined with Baba. And when being in remembrance, I'm coming into contact with someone, it's like bringing them close to Baba. And they get that feeling, they get that experience. They want to come and connect with us again and again. They are looking for reasons. Many times when you're just going about doing your minding your own business, they will come to you and say, we haven't seen you for so long. Where have you been? We were looking for you. 
We really like being with you. That's Seva. And Baba says, give them reasons to be in touch with you, be in contact with you. They really need that nurturing. So give them that palna, that nurturing, that upbringing. Baba says, find a reason to call them and increase your connection with them. Don't think that two or three have to emerge. It's good even if one emerges. That's also seva. The flame of one deepak or lamp can prepare the flames of a whole garland of Deepaks. Such a beautiful thing, Baba is saying. Then Baba goes on to speak to the German group. Those from Germany have adopted a good method to give fathers introduction in their country. Now prepare hands in neighboring countries of Germany and increase the field of service. Each one that comes should then be able to look after a center because very little time remains and a kingdom has to be prepared. In foreign, this is how centers work, right? You, you come in Gyan, you take that Gyan back, and you open a center. You don't need to have immediately a sister staying at the center. You can open up a center. You can have the class in the morning or in and the and or in the evenings. And then you can also do your job or work. So there's a timing that you have classes for. And this is how it works in many of the foreign areas. The group from Germany is of those who follow the father, is it not? Definitely carry on serving. But do it with the support of your contacts and not independently. See, it is important to stay in contact with Baba's instruments when we are doing service. We cannot do it independently. There's a regular connection that is needed with Baba's instruments. Just as every branch is connected to the trunk of the tree, so too your connections with the instrument souls should also be very good. And we've seen that there's so much of respect, so much of connection that's there between the souls, and especially in foreign lands. Even though they are managing the whole country, the whole center on their own, they are the only soul in that country, but they are very connected with the instrument souls that Baba has placed in neighboring countries. So Baba says, you will then become very successful. Therefore, make such plans. Achha. And then at the time of leaving, Baba says, these days of the confluence age are so invaluable. It is only at the confluence age that Bab Dada can see the gathering of the children in their corporeal forms. And so is it value, invaluable for Baba or is it invaluable for us? I think here Baba is saying it's invaluable for him too because he gets to see the gathering of the children in their corporeal form. You enjoy the confluence age, do you not? Will you not transform the world? Both the confluence age and the new world have their own specialities. Sometimes Baba asks him morally, what do you like more, the confluence age or the golden age? And every time he'll give a new answer. So Baba says, both the confluence age and the new world have their own specialities. When you go to the new world, you will even forget the father. Will you remember 
him at that time. The bird would have flown from the nest and created its own life somewhere else. Will you remember him at that time? The father is, of course, happy that his children claim such an elevated status. A father's desire is always for his children to go ahead of him. So the mother bird or the father bird is always looking forward to the child bird to develop its wings and fly away. Their main motive is to enable those wings for the child bird or the baby bird. The father is very pleased to see the elevated fortune of his children. You create so much fortune in just a short time. The speciality that the confluence age has is that you can create your fortune at every moment and with every thought. You have a chance to create as much as as much fortune as you want. Are you taking that full chance? Every second spent without remembrance of Baba, away from Baba, being logic or being standard and not being special, not being soul conscious. It's like losing time, which is never going to come back. And it's going to repeat after every 5,000 years, the same thing, the same wastage. The Baba is saying, are you taking that full chance? There isn't a lot of time for attainment now. Therefore, do as much as you want to now. Otherwise, you will later remember this time of earning your attainment. And realize that you should have done so much, but that you did not do it. It will be so much of regret. See, there's one regret of not getting to know Baba, which will be there for the souls of the world. And there's one regret of knowing him and not being able to gather whatever he was there to give us or realize whatever he was there to give us. And that realization will be of great remorse and regret. Otherwise, Baba says, you will later remember this time of earning your attainment and realize that you should have done so much, but that you did not do it. Continue to make your pilgrimage of remembrance powerful. So keep looking for those options to keep making our fortune. Five minutes here, five minutes there, ten minutes here. Total cumulative, this much yoga, this much service, this much knowledge. Continue to fill all your thoughts with the essence of all the powers. Continue to fill every thought with power. Underline. You can serve a great deal with the power of thoughts. From starting to end, from beginning to end, Baba kept talking about the power of thoughts and the way we can do service to power of thoughts. Acha. It was a short and sweet morning today. We will give a one minute silence and then we will come back for our journeys.
Om Shanti. Anybody would like to share their journeys? Om Shanti. Uh, the last paragraph is really um, touching. So Baba says the father, you know, I've seen the children in the corporate form at this time. So Baba is seeing the children in their corporate form at this time. And Baba would like to see us going ahead of him. Where he would like to place us mm -hmm. ahead of him. But yeah, technically though we are not going, but that's what Baba's desire is. And also, you know, very, um, it's like a wake up call um, towards the end that Baba says that, you know, so uh, the, this is the chance, right? You have to take uh, the chance. And later, there's going to be the part of repentance. So you have to take um, and create the chance and take as much as you, as much as you want, right? And then, um, attain now and if not now then never so um i feel like uh, you know uh, hearing this it's like uh, we have to wake up and tighten our belt and then get ready to or uh, get ready to take it as much as possible versus you know this pilgrimage of remembrance make it powerful as powerful as possible Shanti and the other paragraphs is like how the seva needs to be, um, you know, planned and enabled. And as then Baba talked, um, all uh, you know, other country, um, children like arrange mayhem and even one soul comes, then that also is seva. We will we will invite others and in different tips and techniques. Om Shanti, thank you. Yes, thank you for sharing, Vijitai. Yes, absolutely. It's a wake-up call, Baba. It's like an alarm bell that we keep snoozing. I always think of it like Om that. Shanti. Om Shanti, Japan. What a connection. Yesterday, he just spoke us about the essence of the conference age. And the recipe which makes that that one word purity, and he just gave the three places where one has to be named, which of course includes the intellect. In my speech and in my actions, he also gave quality. And today, a little jara hatke, I could say, but as maybe he's with a group, he spoke about. My most lovely topic, which I always like, is that combined form. I love this combined form, especially this uh, thing of Shiv Shakti. And I love to think, I used to love even when I was young, this Ardhanarishwar, like Shiva and Parvati, and to see how he, they think I am half, you are half. I used to love that picture. But here Baba just starts us by saying that, are you my companion? Are you in a form with me? I am not alone. If I have that, then I like this picture, this canopy. Sometimes I always think a canopy to be like, I'm going with somebody in an umbrella and if so, am I well covered? Do bristles of rain, come from the side. No, I can see the person who's holding the umbrella tilts the umbrella to my side so that I don't get wet. You know, that kind of protection I've seen. So when I take that, I also take it away. There are so many instances to give you Shivani Ben. Even in advertisement, you know, they show a the girl is down here. She's having a Cadbury's chocolate. Her friend is upstairs on the terrace with an umbrella. And she's walking over, and wherever she's walking, she finds the shade of the umbrella over her. She goes behind, the umbrella goes behind. You are kind to see that I'm there to protect you, enjoy your chocolate. So that is <laughs> the, 
canopy of protection and like and he, baba has given us so many instances my dear children at the end even when there is fire like a kitten i will you know if baba saying i will take you in my thing and i will put you in a safer place a canopy of protection and for all this he only says uh, and that means a place of safety so in the mudli whenever i come across you know i just say but baba how so many of us and i can i was just thinking what a large army should have or how fast he should actually move us from that place so this canopy of faith is the first thing which touched me because as you see i always connected it to all these small small things which i see that is one of the and when we were young we were taught what is the canopy of protection prayer it's now okay we have meditation and all but i remember they just used to say when you are down that everything just one word god where are you just say that he comes down and you don't even know that invisible something it takes if really that prayer is a prayer connected to whatever deity i belong can it be a protection i think this mm. is the first thing i like in the mudli and uh, what baba has got to do with the london group and that i was just trying to think but that's the beautiful that and that canopy will only come if i do i have om shri very true the canopy of protection it's such a such a comforting feeling when baba says that and you're right even even in uh, even in devotion we have a canopy of protection when we reach out to god in the true sense from the heart call out to god and he helps us in some or the other way right for many souls in devotion that's the only form of support and protection that they have limited right and here in as brahmins in the confluence age baba is saying i'm always at your service use me for your protection use me for your benefit i'm here only to give take as much as you want and be in that canopy of protection because we also got an understanding and realization of how much protection we need in devotion we only needed protection when we were suffering right it could be any financial or physical or relations when we were suffering we used to call out to god and we used to feel his support but when we become brahmins there we realize there's so much more protection we want and we need at a thought level to protect ourselves from maya from ravan and so constant remembrance is what baba is talking about for that canopy and that analogy of the cadbury's ad i've also seen it that's lovely i think that ingrains the concept of canopy in a mind thanks for bringing that out sister yes baba also mentioned don't think of fruits don't think of the outcome don't be outcome conscious be effort conscious my effort should be optimum my effort should be 100% the fruit today or tomorrow will obviously come and baba also said about this that whenever you do something think something do something say something in the remembrance of father it has to bear fruit it cannot not bear fruit so it's such a powerful thought a powerful guarantee that baba is taking all we need to do is ensure that we are in true undiluted remembrance of baba at that time and not outcome conscious yeah as you were sharing that uh, thing shivani ben see i remember when the uh, there was this uh, pass out parade i mean when these colleges as we are graduating they were always i remember some of these people you know when they started silk their speech they speak about karmenya vaidike raste bafaleshu kadacha 
they used to start with that, like telling those people, now you have done your work throughout the year. Do not worry. Your effort mm. and your fruit will be there. I used to love those speeches there. And even I remember the famous job, speech of Steve Jobs when he went to a, a graduation and how he spoke where he never looked for the fruit. He never did. But it was the failure which made him rise that he can do and he goes up. The results never put him down. Whenever this fruit comes, I remember these two speeches uh, which I've heard. And here, Baba, why he's telling that? Because Baba is saying, there's no time now. If you're just going to do, just focus yourself on what you have to do. Focus on your action. It's not a question to say, I have no aim. Focus should be there on what you're doing automatically. Too. That was the one thought. As you were saying, I remember even your, how are these two speech, uh, speeches which I've heard. Also, I like this jeweler shop, you know, the example which Baba has given. So does that mean, see, I get up at Amrit Vela, I'm opening the shop, and it's like all the, just like a jeweler, Baba says, they, you know, they clean the jewels. I have not really seen that part, but I can imagine because Brahma Baba used to do that before offering it to the royal people. Uh, so I have to take each soul whom I'm going to do that and scan them and decorate them. That's such a mm. nice job he has given for us. So I think when you get up mm -hmm. within, you can, okay, these are the jewels. Come, come, let me, putting them into those small boxes of my heart and then placing them in front of the Lord. And lastly, I also like that altruistic father. Oh my God. He, Baba is saying, only now I can see you. I won't see you in the golden age. Will you call me in the golden age? No. Only now, player. And so he wants us to go ahead. He's not there. But he's such an altruistic father. He wants to see the children ahead. I think that one motive, that canopy and altruistic, this, these two qualities of Baba, of God, really catches our heart. Oshan. Yes, absolutely. And this is such a beautiful quality that Baba has. And thanks for calling it out. Altruistic, you know. And this concept today is also being spoken about when they talk about servant leadership, right? That, and, and many times the management concepts which are coming up now, if you relate them, I think Baba is an epitome of those <laughs> concepts which are coming out now, especially servant leadership if you see they say that a servant a leader should be like a servant who doesn't think of himself at all it's, they don't say that the leader should think later they say the leader should only think of the team or the team members and similarly you know Baba so beautifully is the epitome of that he never thinks of himself always in his thoughts it's only the children you know, and he's always thinking that he's there for a purpose which he needs to do and go every moment. And he keeps reminding that to us as well. And he keeps telling us, children, you go ahead, you go ahead. Like a true father with so much of unconditional love for his children. True altruistic. And that comes from the connection when you build a connection with other souls, like Baba has built such a beautiful connection with us. And Baba said, yes, that he can only see us now. So it's such a beautiful feeling for him also, right? These are my children. I'm seeing them for the first time in the corporeal form. I've seen them many times in the opportunity to see them and meet them in this world, in their corporeal form. It's a beautiful feeling. And thanks for bringing out. And then Baba said that, of course, the jewels. He said, all these souls who come in contact with us, they are just like jewels. So clean them if you see any impurity with your powerful thoughts. Exactly, scan them. 
and clean their impurities. Build that connection with those souls also. A deep connection. It's not just a connection on the periphery. I think Baba wants us to build a deep connection, a brotherly bond with other souls. A feeling that it's my responsibility to take care of them. They are my jewels. We are all in this together. I am the big brother. I need to take care. It's a beautiful feeling. So I think uh, any other journey uh, from anyone? Can you throw yes. some light on this, you know, this instrument soul? See, uh, I'm talking about not instrument souls, the dadis, the didis, or the center where we are. But Baba always mentions this in service. Like there are some souls outside over there, Sahayogi Atma, sometimes he calls them. But uh, we should know those souls and uh, how to connect them and uh, how to even create a bhagya. A little more if you can throw how really in your service you have done, have you recognized these instrument souls and uh, what do you expect from them? And, uh, you know, something about these so that the revelation, especially now, Shivratri is coming. I want really to catch an instrument soul to whom I can give the real thing of Shiva and who will be a benchmark to reveal to others. I, I, I hope I have made clear. Yeah. Yeah. So, so just one point, uh, sister, on that. In today's Morley, when Baba speaks about instrument souls, he is speaking about the center sisters, right? That when you are managing a center on your own in a country, be in touch with the instrument souls, keep keep connecting with them, taking inputs, sharing your ideas, have a collaboration with them. This is when Baba brought up the instrument souls in Murli today. But what you are asking is about the instrument souls for revolution of Baba how to identify, how to connect with them uh, who can be like mics or who can be instrumental in revealing Baba. Is my understanding correct? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so see, when, when we, and that's my, simply my thought, when we come in contact with and, and there are so many different ways that we come in contact with different people, right? Um, Somebody is doing a job, you come in contact with a lot of different leaders, a lot of different influential souls of the world, especially the influential souls. And not because we want to be influential, it's because we want Baba's revelation. So the more instrumental and influential a soul would be, the more they can do Baba's revelation. So when they will say that, yes, this is the father and the father has come, they will have greater credibility in the society, right? And that's why Baba keeps talking about um, doing service in all sections or all sectors of the society. Now, for an example, we had Dr. Kalam, who was the earlier president of India, right? He used to be in Delhi. And I have closely observed how he was nurtured by Dadiji, by all the instrument souls in Delhi, um, especially Bridgemon Bhai Saab and Asha Didi. You know how regularly they used to go nurture him. Sometimes they used to... Uh, and, and especially Asha Didi, I get an opportunity to now also um, see a lot of service that she's doing because she's instrumental. There are a lot of mics that are there in Delhi, especially in the area of government and how they are being identified and they are being nurtured and how we are utilizing um, that opportunity to reveal Baba. Right. So now we get a lot of opportunity because of the president of India, the current president of India to be in the presence of these influential souls and how Didi is kind of trying to 
spread Baba's message. So many times, what has happened is when, when we go there, many of the ministers of parliament, many of the other um, known dignitaries, they will come and they will ask that, you know, I want to learn meditation. And how specially we do the service for them. And we offer them that, you know, we'll come over and we'll do the service. So I think one thing is to identify the pulse of that soul. Of course, we'll come in contact, but not every soul will be accepting of the knowledge. So it's important to be able to have that yukti to identify the pulse of that soul. And the other is, when we identify the pulse of the soul, we have to have those hands. Uh, it has to be very special who have those, you know, wherewithal to be able to give Baba's true knowledge to that soul, undiluted, but in you with yukti. So I think yukti is and and diplomacy here is very important when we talk about giving knowledge to these instrument souls. I don't know if I could answer that question. But still, I think it is very important to identify the pulse. That's the key when we are doing service of these instrumental mics who can be influential in revealing Baba. Even in Sakar Murli's Baba has mentioned, go and give Gyan to the Pope, go and give Gyan to you know, give knowledge to the king, do this. It's not like he wants us to, but but he he knows and somewhere he has that um, futuristic vision that the revolution will happen through these instruments. Okay, I think we are already on top of the hour. So we will have a two minute silence and then we will carry on with the day. Thank you, Om Shanti. Thank you, Sister. Om Shanti. Thank you to Baba. Thank you, Shivani Ben. Thank you, Divine Family. See you tomorrow at 5 a.m. Till that time, have a lovely day.